SEC does not imply a certain level of skill or training. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160 and WCCSradio.com. Good morning and thanks so much for being with us here today. Mr. Computer is misbehaving today, so uh, we'll, we'll have to go Facebook only here with Tammy Curry. Oh, I think now he wants to behave. There it goes. All right, hate when that happens. Our conversation with Tammy brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. It's another country fair event uh, with a very, very nice charity organization uh, that you are involved with uh, in in, uh, donating some of the proceeds from the event to, that's rather awkwardly said, but Tammy Curry is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Good to have for having you. me back again. Oh, I'm glad you're back with us uh, as we talk about uh, Country Fair Christmas this time, huh? Yeah. Yep. We are having our fourth annual Country Fair Christmas to be held at the S&T Bank Arena mm-hmm. uh, December 2nd, a week from this Saturday from 10 to 4. Mm-hmm. We have over 90 vendors this time. Wow. It's a we have lot. three outdoor vendors. We have uh, Ray from Pig Rig, and this is his finale. So everybody needs to come out and get something from Pig Rig. Okay. This is his his little big hurrah. So, <laughs> and Porsches and um, uh, James Lee Coffee Company, they're new. Mm-hmm. So they're going to be out there serving up some hot coffees too. There you go. So, but indoors we have a, we have a lot of new vendors and some that are really, really interesting. Um, one I want to talk about is Roland um, Metal Art. Mm-hmm. And um, he buys all of his railroad spikes from Kowalczyk's. Oh, yeah. And he has been doing that for, I, I think he said about 30 years. And he makes the coolest little figurines out of every, you know, just for anything you can think of. Fishermen, hunters. You know, oh, yeah. Radio broadcasters. Does he reshape know. them or he, just paint them? No, he he has the spike, but he does other metal work on it and attaches oh, okay. it to it, uh-huh. welds it to it. They're really, really neat. And he does some really huge things, too. There was like dragons and mm-hmm. and things there, too. So he's he's really neat. Um, we have Bono's Leather. They're new. Um these guys are all coming from out of the county, which I really like because they have a following, and then people follow them to Indiana County, so sure increases our tourism. So we have everything from soaps to the leather stuff to dry dips. Um, AK Wholesale Fish is one of my new vendors. I'm also carrying her product at my shop. Um, Maple Lodge is new there in Blairsville mm-hmm. area. Um, who else do we have? I have a whole list. You have a whole bunch of folks. Well, if you've I got do. 90 of them, then... Yeah, we can't go through all of those, can we? <laughs> no, we don't have that much time. No, but we, we have some really neat stuff. We have somebody that makes dog biscuits and then somebody that makes dog accessories. Mm-hmm. So you'll find those two side by side. I'm sure um, there are a lot of uh, vendors who will just be providing Christmas craft items, too, because this, yes. is their, this is their time. Right, right. A lot of people doing the wooden wooden crafts and everything, a lot mm-hmm. of um, Christmas jewelry type things. Um, we have some people that uh, you had are here before, <laughs> Cindy Rummel. She's going to be selling her oh, okay. books there. And mm-hmm. then there's another, two other book people there. It's going to be pretty neat. Um, Scratch Farms, which is a farm out in Dixonville that she makes a lot of really nice products um i bought some for my husband it's a beard oil he doesn't have a beard but you know it smells good Mm -hmm. she does a great job smiling goat soap company um just we have everybody wild fudge is back everybody just to let you know wild wow wow Wow. okay wow fudge wow fudge yeah yeah wild fudge might be something different altogether yeah (laughs) All right, uh, and and one of the things about uh, the event is uh, the dedication of some uh, proceeds to uh, the folks with the inclusive playground. Correct. And and boy, have they done some hard work in order to get that thing up and running, huh? They have, they have, and they're really they're doing a great job. Um, I heard from Claire, who is the life skills teacher, K K through three, at the school district here, and she messaged me yesterday. They couldn't make it. I wanted them to come in and speak as well. But they are currently in phase three of their goal, raising final funds to compete or to complete, I'm sorry, complete and create the best, most accessible environment, pathways, landscaping, additional safety features. So Mm -hmm. this is for children, regardless of their abilities or disabilities. And I think it's a really great, great, great thing that they've done out there. So I'm happy to be a part of it. There's a dollar donation at the door. 
to get in and all of that goes to the East Pike Inclusive Playground Fund. So we're yeah. hoping we raise a nice amount of money for them this year. Yeah, that's a, just a beautiful effort, and it came together really quickly. And it it's did. nice to see the school board jump on board with that. Yeah. And, uh, and all of a sudden, there's going to be a new facility for children who have uh, um, a lesser ability to do things than other children. Right. Uh, wonderful, solid landing places for them. Uh, so and and. and Things we don't think of. We think of the playground with uh, uh, mulched bark uh, yeah. or the rubber settings, uh, the, the ground up rubber settings, which are make for a nice soft landing for kids if they fall down. But you can't push a wheelchair through them. No. Uh, so uh, these surfaces will enable them to to really take advantage of this great thing. Yeah, I can't wait to see it when it's complete. It's going to be really. It's really a nice addition because yeah. there are a lot of children that do that do require this. So it's a long time coming, but. It's almost here. So your one dollar donation is going to get you uh, is uh, get you in get me in. Yeah, uh, to get the you event in. next week, but it will also uh, benefit the inclusive playground. That's right. The, that's the exciting thing about it. That is very exciting. We're happy to help them out. We we like to do every event that I do. I I pick a charity to work with, and and they get the proceeds from any door funds, or if they do a basket raffle, that all goes to them. So it's just our way of trying to give back a little bit because Mm -hmm. we do so well at these festivals and I, you know, and people don't mind, they don't mind coming to the door and paying that dollar and they know it's going to something good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that, that's wonderful. Uh, The event itself is going to be over one day or two. Just one. Just one day. Just one. That's all it can handle in the winter and around sure. the holidays. <laughs> sure. Well, and plus, that's a really busy building. Uh, oh, my. Is it ever. The pickleball courts are open. They're really neat. Mm-hmm. I um, I was down last week to try to measure, but some friends were playing pickleball. Which I got to watch it for the first time. I don't play. But um, And the basketball court. Uh, it's, it's really neat. It's, it looks really, really nice, and it's expanded the area in there, too, so which I'm happy about, but I still had to rent an extra room. <laughs> I, had oh, to, yeah. I had to rent two extra party rooms to put the vendors in this time. So that's a good thing, too. Sure. Yeah. Sure, absolutely. It's, yeah. it's built for that and uh, for you to be able to put this event on there and have 90 vendors inside. That's, that's yeah. a pretty tremendous yeah. accomplishment. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's right. been a lot of work, but you know what? It's so, it's so nice after all the hectic stuff is over with, all the measuring, because I, I drive Ryan crazy. I'm down there measuring all the time because I have to have it just perfect. And, yeah. And then, you know, the day before, I'm down there with my tape, putting it on the floor and mm-hmm. measuring again. And then, you know, we do have our vendors come in that night. If they're local, they come in and set up that night, which makes it a lot less chaotic Sure. on Saturday morning, especially for the ones coming in from out of the county. So, you know, we, we have a system and... I hope it works this time again. So, sure. yeah. All right. So, hours on Saturday will be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. 10 a.m. to 4, mm-hmm. and again, it's Saturday, December the second. Correct. All right. S and T Bank Arena. Yes. yes. Right. And if I could make a little announcement, sure. If you don't mind, no um, we have some big news coming for the Indiana PA Country Fair Market in 2024. Uh, we're going to do another ethnic food and music festival at the S and T Arena outside on the grounds. And that will be June 15th and 16th. And I've already got 12 um, different food vendors lined up from different ethnicities. So Mm -hmm. that's a good thing. But the biggest announcement, and I'm so happy to be able to make this, and I want to thank Mike Keith and Robin Gorman for working with me on this and Kathy Van Horn and Ed Patterson. We are going to be doing a very big two-day festival at Blue Spruce Park. Nice. So I am so excited about that because I want to start – um, highlighting and spotlighting some of the areas in the county that people sometimes forget about. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I put it out on my Facebook page, and I know people said they hadn't been there in years. Well, good. It's time to go back and, and enjoy it. It's just such a beautiful setting out there. Sure. And, and we need to start uh, working. I'm going to be uh, talking to Yellow Creek to see what we can do there mm-hmm. as well. But um, Mike and Robin were just real tickled when I called them and I asked them, can we do this? And there was kind of well, little squeal of joy. So. <laughs> Very nice. That'll yeah. be next June, right? That'll be next. Well, June 15th and 16th is the Ethnic Food and Music Festival. Oh, okay. And then it will be August 24th and 25th, mm-hmm. which the 25th is the first day of the fair. But we've, we've kind of worked that out because that's typically them bringing in the livestock and judging. Uh-huh. And none of the vendors that 
typically go there, I will ask to be in this because I'm not going to take a week's worth of business away from them sure. to do that. But I and what we're going to do is we're going to advertise the fair in our advertising. Mm-hmm. So people know that are coming in from out of the county. We also have our county fair starting, and that's the free day for families and the, and the church service. So people may just want to pop on over there after the Blue Spruce Park Festival. There you go. Yeah. Tammy, <laughs> thank you so much for coming in to visit with us today. Thank Appreciate you for that. having me again. Have a nice Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. And you too. Thank it you. is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160 and WCCSradio.com. 23 and a half after 9 o'clock on your Thursday morning, Wednesday morning, I should say, Wednesday. AccuWeather says mostly cloudy today. A chance of morning showers and a high of 44 degrees. And then tonight, mostly cloudy and down to 34 Uh, Tomorrow for Thanksgiving, early clouds and then sunny, a high of 49. Friday, mostly cloudy, 41. And over the weekend, partly sunny, both Saturday and Sunday, but it's going to cloud up on Sunday in the afternoon. Saturday's high, 42. Sunday, they've uh, made it a bit of a warmer day for us as they have a projected high temperature of 50 degrees on Sunday. And right now in downtown Indiana, the temperature has actually fallen uh, through the course of the morning. It's down to 43 at the moment. Indiana County 911 this morning is uh, looking okay. There's nothing new to report to you there. That means folks are having an okay time of it out on the highways. It's 24 and a half after 9 o'clock. It's Indiana in the morning here on WCCS. And um, Homer Center doesn't have school today. And I texted Jody Rainey but haven't gotten a response back from him. So I don't know uh, that he is available to me today or not. Uh, So... Um, I don't know if we'll have Homer Center Principal Jody Rainey with us in our next half hour, but that's okay if he's unable to be with us because I've, uh, I've got somebody else who has some interesting things going on as well. Uh, and it's a gentleman by the name. Let me see if I can get his name. Uh, Vince Callahan. Dr. Vince Callahan uh, is available to me, so I can speak with him this morning as well. It's 25 after 9, CBS Sports Minute brought to you by S&T Bank, People Forward Banking. Hi, I'm Garrett Greek, your local mortgage banker at S&T Bank. At S&T, we know there is no place like home for the holidays. Let us help you get into the home of your dreams this holiday season. Visit me at one of our Indiana County offices to learn more about our mortgage options. You can also visit us at stbank.com or by calling 800-325-2265. Wishing you a joyful holiday season and a prosperous new year. S&T Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Pomer Assize with the CBS Sports Minute. Sponsored by FanDuel Sportsbook. Make every moment more. Brock, perfect passer rating Purdy is back in the MVP discussion, folks, as San Francisco visits Seattle for tomorrow's nightcap. The 49ers, when healthy, in my eyes, are the league's most balanced and best team. The status of Geno Smith's throwing arm injury will determine how close, desperate Seattle keeps this contest. I like San Fran 27 23. I'm Pomer Assize. Score early this NFL season with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. That's $150 if your team wins. If you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, there's no better time to get in on the action. The app is so easy to use. There's a wide range of betting options, spreads, player props, over-unders, and more. I like putting a spread bet together with the over for my parlays and anytime player touchdown always has me on the edge of my seat. So if you're ready to do the same, visit FanDuel.com slash win and kick off the NFL season. That's FanDuel.com slash win. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. 21 plus and present in Pennsylvania. First online real money wager only $5 pregame money line wager required. First online real money wager only $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued as non withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1 800. Attention, Indiana shoppers. Luxembourg's Jewelers is decking the halls with savings at their annual Black Friday sale. Looking for the perfect stocking stuffer? Luxembourg's presents exquisite sterling silver. Freshwater pearl stud earrings, a retail value of $25.90, is now on sale for just $12.95. These beauties are available while supplies last at Luxembourg's Indiana Mall store only. Black Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., the best deals of the season. Luxembourg's at the Indiana Mall and on Philadelphia Street, Indiana's Christmas store. 
Good golly, what in darnation are you doing with my party balloons? Trying to get this darn inflation under control. You know, everything is so pricey nowadays, and it's because of all the inflating going on. I'm fixing to take care of your truck tires next. Oh, man, that's the wrong type of inflation, you knucklehead. Hi, this is Brad Peterson, Managing Director of InFirst Financial Advisors and Oseg Institutions Investment Executive. Inflation has hit everyone hard, but it doesn't have to keep you down. At InFirst Financial, our team is committed to helping with your financial success. We help by using a process that focuses on what matters most to you and then deliver an exceptional experience that guides you to a better financial tomorrow. Start your relationship with InFirst Financial Advisors, 866-349-3006, online at InFirstFinancial.com. Securities are offered through Osaic Institutions, Inc., member FINRA SIPC. InFirst Financial Advisors is a subsidiary of InFirst Bank. Osaic Institutions are not affiliated with either entity. Investment products are not a deposit, not FDIC insured, not insured by any federal government agency, not guaranteed by the bank, may go down in value. Are you frustrated with your pharmacy lately? Are you having trouble getting your prescriptions or getting in touch with a pharmacist? Perhaps it's time for a change. 